So obviously there's multi-path in this room. I, who else would do a demo in this room? Uh, we've done this before, so we understand that the multi-path reflections and so on are down 25, 30 dB. And frankly, it worked out pretty well in this room too. So, um, uh, Justin, did you just do the cal? Yes. Well, that's it. All right, so um, Justin, do me a small favor if you could prove this to everybody in the audience by just walking in between. Uh, Justin makes a great wall. And you're going to see the gain goes down, well, quite a bit. So let me give you this scale just so you're happy with it. So again, uh, we're talking 2.5 to 3 gigs. Uh, this is normalized to 0 dB. So that would be the gain, as it were, of what I'm calling the direct path. No, nothing obstructing it. No cloth, et cetera, and so on. So you can see that Justin's down. How far are you, Justin? Around 20 dB? That's about 15 to 20. Right. Now, the problem, of course, is when you get down there, uh, it gets a little bit rough because the signal and noise is actually kind of low. I mean, it is, you know, a, a, a network analyzer with a fairly low power output. But uh, that means right now we've got a direct path. And uh, now the question then becomes if we take our wall, in this case, a piece of styrofoam with uh, aluminum foil wrapped around it. Where is it, Justin? <clears throat> I hope you still have it. Justin's going to show you the wall. So let's, let's play Mr. Wizard and see how far it goes down. Oh, wrong one, Justin. Not, yeah, just the wall, not, not the. Yeah, we'll save that surprise in a second. All right, so this is um, this is just a piece, uh, two two layers of half-inch styrofoam with aluminum foil wrapped around it. And it looks looks like a pretty good wall. I mean, obviously there's there's a little bit of knife edge diffraction. There's a little bit of of, uh, of uh, beam being larger or, or over illuminating the wall. So that accounts for the fact that it's not down to say 50 dB. Plus there's multi-path reflections. But it looks pretty good. I mean, this is. Hello, there we go. That's minus 15 dB down from the direct path. Uh, here, you know, at 2.5, 2.6, it's down about minus 20, minus 25, and so on. Justin, you can take it back off there and uh, prove that it goes back up. Good. There's a little man down inside there that's, that's doing all this, of course. So the point is, is that uh, what we've got here is uh, an indication that knife edge diffraction, at least in this example, is fairly minimal in terms of generating uh, front scatter. And let me remind you the kind of length of a wavelength here since we're talking up at S-band. So this is an illustration to indicate one wavelength at these frequencies. So you can see the separation of the antennas is many, many wavelengths. The physical size of the wall is electrically large and so on.